Candlesticks are great and all, but what if we could go deeper and gain a better understanding of how buyers and sellers are reacting on any given time frame? The way that we can gain this deeper understanding of how buyers and sellers are participating in the market is through the use of footprint charts. And in this video, I'm going to be breaking down what footprint charts are, my setup, and how to use them for high probability trades. But with that being said, let's hop into it. All right, so when we use a traditional candlestick chart, this is how price is going to look. When we have a green candle, price price opens at the lower shaded area. The wicks represent how high or low price went during that time frame. But at the end of that given time frame, price closes all the way at the top of the green shaded area and then vice versa for a red candle. At the beginning of the red shaded area, this is where price opened. The wicks representing how high or low price went during that time frame. But on the lower portion of the shaded area, that is where price closed. Now with footprint charts, this is giving us a deeper understanding and allowing us to see truly how buyers and sellers are participating participating inside of this candle and we're able to see every single transaction that takes place so within these footprint charts you can see that we have two sides of the footprint for me i personally have these set to five minutes so every single one is representing five minutes worth of data on the left side we have the bid and on the right side we have the ask now in order to understand what is actually happening on the bid and the ask there's two types of different market orders that you need to understand. And the first order is going to be passive orders. Now, what a passive order is, is this is a limit order waiting to be filled in the market. So if you went in and you said, I am only interested in selling at 56.44, that is a passive order. You're not willing to sell any higher and you're not willing to sell any lower. However, when it comes to these passive orders, they're not really the ones that are moving the market. I mainly use passive orders when looking at strong areas of support and resistance, supply and demand, or Fibonacci. Now, the second type of order is going to be an aggressive order. This is what's going to be reflected inside of the footprint chart. And what an aggressive order is, is this is a market order. This is participants saying, get me in the trade right now. They don't care what price they get in. They just want to get in right this very second. And those are the kind of orders that we want to pay attention to. So now when we're looking at these footprint charts, if there is an aggressive participant selling short, they're going to be selling market and getting filled at the bid. If there's an aggressive buyer looking to go long, they're going to be getting filled at the ask. So when these orders are getting filled, we can see the exact number of participants that are being aggressive with their orders and either selling short or buying long. So again, the main difference between the two, the aggressive orders, they're willing to get in at any given price. Passive orders, they're only willing to get in at a certain price not higher and not lower. So if we're just looking at this footprint chart over here, we can see that in the middle of the candle, that's where a majority of the participants were active. There were 1080 aggressive buy orders that got filled here and 1180 aggressive sell orders that got filled here. There was 99 here. There were 64 aggressive buy orders here, 114 aggressive sell orders here, 204 aggressive buy orders here, 109 aggressive sell orders here. So again, every single one is going to be an aggressive order and we can see exactly how many by using the footprint chart. So now that we have this information, we can utilize the data to start finding high probability setups. But one thing I do want you guys to make note of is I'm not looking at every single footprint that is printed throughout the day because you'd probably go crazy doing that but i'm mainly watching this when price trades to key levels and i'll show you guys an example of a trade that i took yesterday but that'll be here in a little bit now when it comes to setting up my footprint chart these are the exact settings that i use so i personally have mine set to time interval and then i set it to the five minute time frame but then as far as the footprint type because there are a few different ones that you can use if you guys do want me to go through these in a future video absolutely i can but i just have it with the buy and sell so bxs and then i also like to check the delta and the sum trades which we'll go over here in a little bit you can see that i have my delta and my sum trades down there but that's just personally how i have mine set up so if we just start going back and looking at all of the data from today and this is how you're going to get really good at reading a footprint chart is just by going back and looking at it and using it in real time but when we start getting like strong aggressive candles to the upside you're gonna to start to notice that we have a lot more aggressive buying going on compared to the aggressive selling. So you're gonna notice that the higher numbers are coming in on this side and then vice versa when price starts dropping to the downside, you're gonna to start to notice that we have more aggressive sell orders. So again, on the left side, we're gonna have a lot more orders coming in compared to the right side. Now, something that I like to use to just very quickly understand was there more buying or selling because I don't wanna sit here and look at every single number inside the candlestick. But when you check that delta and the sum trades, you're gonna notice that that you have these little icons that pop up down here. 
So we can see that the delta right here was 9,980. So there was 9,980 more aggressive buy orders than there were sell orders inside of this candle. And the amount of trades that took place was 24,897. And again, almost 10,000 of that being on the buy side. Over here on this one, if we look at the delta, we have negative 82. And then as far as some trades, 10,984. So out of those 10,984 transactions, there were 82 more on the sell side than there was on the buy side. Same thing over here with the Delta, negative 510 out of 8,500 transactions. There was 510 more aggressive sell orders than there were aggressive buy orders. So that's just a very quick way to get a summary of what happened inside of this candle. Now, one thing I do wanna mention because I am gonna pull up a screenshot of a trade that I ended up taking yesterday, and I do wanna walk through this trade. So what I was watching was this 30 minute demand zone on ES. I have tons of videos on how to identify demand, but you can see that we have this small red basing candle before a large aggressive move up, leaving unfilled buy orders. So therefore we should be looking for price to come back down into this level, make it support, and then we should look for long entry. So as price came down into the demand level, we got a very, very bullish green candle with a lot of volume coming out of it. I personally got long on this candle and then added to my position as we dip back down towards this demand and was able to capture this move all the way back up. So now if we head on over to book map using the footprint chart, we can see at the same exact time that actually on the bid, we had 2,634 aggressive sell orders within this footprint. However, if we look at the right side, there was no aggressive buy orders. So this is where things might get a little confusing. And again, I'm gonna make a future video on this, but because there was 2,634 aggressive sell orders at the very bottom of that candle and price did not go lower, there was an influx of passive buy orders sitting inside of that demand point. And as a result, those aggressive sellers got trapped, had to cover their position because there was more passive buyers and that then fueled a move to the upside. But again, I'm gonna have to make a whole nother video on that in the future, but I did wanna point that out to you guys. That way you can start utilizing that right now. But yeah, to sum up everything about footprint charts, this gives us a way better understanding of how buyers and sellers are truly reacting in any given time frame, and we can see exactly how many buy or sell orders are coming in and by using the delta in the sum trades it summarizes everything inside of this candle so when price trades to our key levels we can utilize this information to give us an edge in the market and increase our chances of a winning trade so if you guys want to check out bookmap and start utilizing footprint charts right away i will be leaving a link down in the description and again if you guys do want more videos on this topic or anything that has to do with bookmap let me know and i will definitely make those videos in the future other than that, make sure you guys smash that like button as well as clicking that subscribe and that bell icon. It would mean the absolute world to me. Everybody have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next video.